Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your general reading for December 2023. If you're interested in the extended video to this reading or you want to check out any of my work, the links are down below. All right, Gemini, I heard um, your life is about to turn a corner. Spirit said that whoever I'm reaching today is coming out of a pretty tough cycle but I saw almost this idyllic setting of two people who were, um, you know, pretty happy. I mean, I saw flowers. I saw someone smiling. I heard you're going to be blissfully happy. Now, I don't know what you've come out of or who you're going to be with. This may be about relationship. It could just be that you're being kind of delivered from a really... Um, tough karmic period in your life, but it's good. I mean, whatever it is, it looks good. I, I don't know what this is about, but we're going to find out. So Gemini, let's see what spirit has for you for December. Remember, please, this can be your energy or energy that is present in the life of someone in yours. Victory, beautiful. Overcoming something, getting what you want achievements, new supportive connections. Oh, wow. Could be all of the above. All right, Gemini, let's see what spirit has for you. December 2023 for Gemini, please. <laughs> so many signs are getting the sun. It's beautiful. It's new beginnings. It's creativity, blessings. The culmination of important um, ideas, projects, the birth of something. Okay, we have walking away. I think you're closing the door, closing the gate on something that has been um, burdensome for you. Okay, we have the thinking man, the sun, the door to spirit, and loss. Wow. You've been through something, and I feel like with this door to spirit energy, this, this could mark, you know, a pretty significant new beginning for you, even an awakening. This, it feels to me like there's, there's just kind of the final closing out of something. And if you're still dealing with this, I, I think that you're either contemplating what was or contemplating what will be. This could be you. This could be someone in your life. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of getting the, the term believe. Believe in what you are manifesting. Believe in something turning around. Letting that ship sail. And I don't know what that is, but I, I think it's just a period of time in your life and things are going to turn around. So, I, yeah, and with this door to spirit energy, I feel like who you are is even evolving. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm, I'm getting like spiritually, there's, there's a, you know, a shedding of skin happening. Okay, what do you need to know about what to prepare for? Wow, divine intervention, did that fly out? Psychic insights, seeing the unseen third eye activation. This could be a very spiritual reading for someone. Okay, we have divine intervention, help when you need it, finding solutions, progression, or blocking. Sometimes the divine intervenes when it's time to let go. Yeah, look at that. Nothing to do but wait, a stalemate stuck in indecision. And then we have overcoming. Resilience, strength, unstoppable. Beautiful. I, I, I really believe that this is the willingness to move yourself into a better place. So let's see what is coming in for you, Gemini. We're going to use the Psychic Tarot. Ooh, stand your ground. I think that this is you saying, I will, I shall, and don't get in my way, <laughs> whatever it is. What do you have for Gemini? Wow, gosh, powerful love 
begins the Ace of Cups. For some of you, you might be welcoming new love into your life. I, I wonder if you don't see this coming because it, it feels like you might be a little bit preoccupied with what was. And so, I don't know, it's like you, you don't see something coming, oh my word. Okay. We have material and spiritual prosperity. I'm just going to flip it because it was kind of sideways. Okay. So that's in reverse. Six of Pentacles energy. If there was a situation that felt imbalanced, um, and it could be a financial situation, but it could also be um, in relationship. It could be a cycle in your life. I, I think you're wrapping that up and you're looking to your future to rebuild something. Wow, look at the major arcana. The world, the moon, the empress, spiritual strength, and the emperor. Is this a relationship? Is this balancing the masculine and feminine energy? Is this facing fears? I, I, you know, I'm curious why we have the world here other than I feel like, you know, you're being guided to just go ahead and close the door on something from the past. Yeah, look at that. We have Six of Swords moving on. Rejoice in celebration, justice, recognition, and reward. Firm foundation, accelerated motion, passion ignited. I think there is something just around the corner for you, Gemini, that is going to um, delight you. I'm hearing delight. I don't use that word, so I don't know what, I don't know what's going on, but it could be that there is a, a strong connection, divine masculine, feminine energy. You guys, I, I know you represent the twins, but I don't know. You seem to have that energy come out in your readings most consistently. So let's take a look at what's going to clarify this. So we have the wheel. A phase is ending, coming out of a tough cycle. All right, so um, what is it that you are allowing to dissipate? What are you letting go of, Gemini? The Knight of Swords in reverse. This could be your own behavior, it's chaos. It's chaos, whatever that was for you. The nine of pentacles, you could be coming single. Um, this could have something to do with, you know, your, your life, your money, your lifestyle, independence. Wow, temperance in reverse. You might have been dealing with someone who kind of rocked your world in a way, left you confused. Hmm. I mean, temperance reverse for me can be impatience, but you know, it feels like with this kind of chaotic energy, you're having to find your, your center and maybe you've left a relationship. You might be working on your stability. Whoa, if there's been a loss of stability. Okay, that, that's like 50 cards. I can't take them. I put them back. Okay, they're flying. Hold on, I'm gonna get this one on the floor. Two of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles upright. So you're trying to manage things. You're trying to manage your money. You're trying to juggle responsibilities. Has life become chaotic? Are you wanting to just simplify? I feel an exit coming. I feel an exit. If this hasn't happened yet and you're dreading it, Moon, um, I, I think it's going to turn out better than you expect. Let's look at the moon. This can be what is hidden, what you fear, deep emotion. Wow, something's over. Something's over. But you know, with, with something ending, something new can begin. The Three of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles. This could be receiving assistance, partnering with someone. This could be rebuilding and someone may be offering their support to you. If, if loss literally was the loss of something or someone, you're 
recovering from that. Spiritual strength tells me that, you know, you have more strength and fortitude than you give yourself credit for. We have the Emperor energy clarifying strength. I want to get just a couple more. Ace of Wands, Three of Wands. Moving on, finding that thing that sparks, you know, your, your creativity. This could be a new opportunity, um, new love, passion. Looking to the future, not looking back. Tell us about the Empress. This could be the fruits of your labor, something coming to fruition for you because you have nurtured it. Okay, we have the Six of Swords in reverse. There's a need to move on from something or to, to find that respite. And if this is in a relationship, it could be that, you know, maybe you're um, holding on to something hurt, pain, something that kept you stuck. And, and that could just be the, the need to let something go. Is it a person that you're having a hard time moving on from? Empress, Six of Swords, Reverse. Empress. Oh my gosh, you guys. These cards are nuts. <laughs> okay, we have the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands. I'm going to take them upright. And then we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I think you're, you're struggling. I mean, I see the struggle here. You're struggling to move on from something. And, and I think the reason you're conflicted is maybe you just didn't have closure. Maybe there was something that you were hoping to attain and it didn't materialize. Was there, a, you know, a partnership or another person who um, didn't step in, step up? I mean, we do have impasse here. So this could be a relationship that, um, you know, they, they neither wanted this nor would let you go. Maybe this is your energy. So you're at a crossroads. And I feel like this is about, okay, I'm, I'm going to take charge of this. I'm either going to, I'm either going to let it go or I'm going to say something because the emperor is not going to mess around. Emperor. Why is the emperor here? The star. Healing, wish fulfillment. I was getting, you'll be blissfully happy. Are you going to meet someone? Is this person going to make you forget about, you know, the past? The roles, by the way, could, could be reversed. You know that. Okay. Well, we have the Six of Cups and another card that flew, the Five of Swords. And the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups and the Tower with the Queen of Wands. Oh, the Devil and the Eight of Wands. Um... I feel like what you're doing is, is evaluating your relationship criteria. If this is someone who wants to win you back, someone from your past, that I can read that that way. The Five of Swords, you know, it, it can be a really, um, I'm not going to give up on this. Like, I'm, I'm in it to win it. I'm going to fight for you. And it, it could also have a negative connotation, but... In the context of this, I feel like this is someone who maybe is willing to fight for you. Let's look at the Emperor. Is the wait over? Are they done assessing the past? Page of Swords, Chariot, Ace of Cups, Sun. Yeah, I, let's see what you need to know about how this is going to unfold. Oh, not this deck. Okay. This deck. What do you need to know? What can you expect from this energy? You may just let it go, Gemini. We have the magician and mind. 
with the sun, innocence at the bottom of the deck. What you don't want is for somebody to, you know, play mind games. Maybe that's what was happening. Yeah, this was sticking out. We have the seven of swords and the eight of swords. If you're recognizing that someone's been manipulative, Gemini, I think this is like, forgive me for this, but like the final nail in the coffin. If, if, if this is about moving past something or someone who was in and out or wishy-washy or, you know, um, in it to win it one moment and then let you go the next, I, I think you're done with that. And I think Spirit is saying there's going to be something so much better. So this could just be your energy and you're kind of taking charge. You're evaluating your past and you're not going to invest anymore into something that was not working. You're ready to have your, your call it happily ever after. I don't know. Do we, do we get that? <laughs> if you manifest it, you do. Let it go. Yeah, let it go. Wow. I feel like Spirit said your life is about to turn a corner coming out of a tough cycle because some of you might still be holding on to this really heavy energy. And Spirit is saying there's this beautiful new beginning if you allow it, if you can let the past go. It's interesting, different cards, but letting go nonetheless. Don't wait around for someone who's not waiting for you. Don't invest in someone who's, you know, jacking around. I mean, if, if this is the old energy and you have someone who's, um, you know, coming in, who's going to change the course of the future, it could be something that's going on in their life, if not between you and a current partner. But I think the idea here is allow the new, let the old go, because something so much better is coming your way. Let's take a look at the Moonology deck. Let's get some advice for you. Advice for Gemini. Your commitment is being tested. Ooh, interesting. Mm. I feel like you might have to read into that one. Believe in the impossible. Step out of your comfort zone. I, I feel like something is coming your way, Gemini, and Spirit is helping this along, right? Door to Spirit, divine intervention. I'm almost getting like there's a reason for everything. If you can, if you can stick it out, if you can believe that something is meant for you and... It just requires letting something go. I, I feel like Spirit is saying we're going to bring in something that is going to be so much better than what you've experienced. All right, let's see what the advice is. Get to know yourself. If you find you are depleted or dissatisfied in any area of life, are you nourishing yourself? You need to be honest with yourself about what is going on. So take off the rose-colored glasses. You might have been giving someone the benefit of the doubt, and it's just turned into sort of this wait and see or push and pull, in and out, back and forth, drama-filled, and you're like, mm -mm, letting it go, letting it go. Overthinking the situation is not healthy. Let go of obsessive thought patterns. Bottom of the deck, processing emotions is step one to healing them. Top of the deck, a divine partner is on your path. This will be a love like you have never known before. It's crazy, Gemini, how you get <laughs> this message consistently in one way or the other. I mean, have you just been through some serious relationship karma? And now it's like Spirit is saying, you passed. Like, it's done. It's done. So... It's time to move forward because this gift awaits you. Kind of a tough reading, but reassuring at the same time. Oh, gosh. Okay, Gemini, we're going to look at who's coming into your life because 
they showed me a vision of just this idyllic setting with two people who were incredibly happy together. The, the joy that resonated from those two energies was beautiful. So we're going to look at who it is who's on the way to you because we're going to assume in the extended you've moved on. You've let the past go and you're done. Okay, link is below if you want to join me there, Gemini. If not, thanks for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.